To prepare for the ceremony, earlier in the day, I decided to drop into a meditation and get out my journal. So I knew that some things have been changing, I've been going through a lot, and a lot has been brewing emotionally, but I really needed to take some time to process all of that, and writing is always a massive help to me. And so it had been a while also since I'd done a tarot reading and I actually found a new and longer form spread online that I wanted to try out for myself. So I also used that to deepen my journaling practice and something really crazy that came up in the first of a lot of synchronicities that you're going to see in this video was that in my grounding energy card pull, I actually got the six of swords and the devil card. and. These cards really spoke about transition and about letting go and about letting limiting beliefs and kind of the chains and the things that have been holding you back, setting them free and stepping away from all of that. And I just found that to be such a powerful point to draw my energy from for the rest of the week and especially for this practice. So I wanted to share that with you, but then this happened. I was just scrolling through YouTube, like watching random videos, and this video came up, and I honestly was watching videos on like van life, and like literally the most random things, like just kind of content for fun, and something that came up was an entire video on shadow work, and I was like, whoa, this seems like kind of weird, kind of fate-ish, and I didn't really want to watch it, but I was just like, whatever, just click on it, like the worst thing is you can just click right out. So I clicked on it and it honestly was like a 17 minute video and it just resonated with me so much. I'll see if I can go back and find it and I will link it in the description below if you're interested. But it was such a good explanation of what shadow work actually is and I think I also have this kind of habit where I, it's like called procrasta learning where you basically just over learn and because you're spending all this time doing research and looking at every bit of information out there that you can find you end up just kind of procrastinating and spending all this time learning things but not actually doing things and so I was kind of afraid of going down that route with shadow work because I was like I already kind of don't want to do this so the more that I like fixate on it and figure out the right way to do it like the more that I I'm just gonna procrastinate and not feel like doing it and also the one thing that I've learned especially in like my tarot practice my meditation and journaling practice and all of that is that I just need to learn to trust my own intuition and I've been getting so much better at that but that video came up like, like I said and it was so so helpful and so I kind of got a couple of epiphanies and I just paused the video and I grabbed my journal which was right next to me on the floor and I just started writing so I actually made some mind-blowing like connections between something that happened frequently in my childhood that I noticed after graduating university I had such a similar experience in my job and the crazy thing was that the archetypes of the people involved were the same there was a woman involved and a man involved in my childhood situations and in the work related situations and they mirrored each other like the characteristics mirrored each other there was so much that was completely similar and the crazy thing is obviously one happened when I was like 22 23 and the other one happened you know throughout my life as a child and as a teenager and so it's crazy to think about how the universe really does bring you these patterns back and because they were in such different spaces one happened you know in different places during my childhood and one happened you know in a different state you know thousands of miles away in a completely different scenario in a corporate job setting and so because of that like you ordinarily wouldn't compare the two so I think it's so interesting that I was able to just kind of have this epiphany and make that connection and so much of that tied into my anxiety responses my response to hide and to escape and through just those words I was able to kind of create this entire illustration of feeling like I was locked away in a tower like even like my inner child was like locked away and everything that I was doing in every area of my life to escape or to numb myself or to run away was kind of flashing in front of me and so obviously you know it, it took a few pages of writing but it was like boom 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 like all these ex like 
epiphanies and um, explanations of things and how they've always been kept coming out. And the craziest part is the Tower card, the Revolution card, had been coming up a lot. And so has the strength card in my tarot practice. And both of these were kind of symbols, like a symbol of like a lion or a dragon, like fire breathing and, and this internal strength that came up. And then also this kind of feeling, like I said, of being locked in a tower. And what's also interesting in another, but I had a really vivid dream a couple of nights ago about being locked in a tower and about like having all these friends and, you know, talking to them and getting to know these people, but then shutting the door on them and then learning eventually that like they passed away. And these weren't real people in my life, so it didn't like, I wasn't waking up like terrified. Um, it was kind of, again, this symbol of like being in that tower, being shut away, being alone and being isolated. And so connecting it back to this dream, which also then is connecting to these tarot cards and these images on the card, which is then connecting to like these fears and images that just came up in my journaling, unpacking how everything has come to be and how it's connected is just like crazy. And so I feel like it's perfect that I'm doing this tonight and two more evidences of synchronicity. One is that this tower dream, I haven't necessarily had this specific dream, but for years I've been having dreams about going off to boarding school and like being dropped off even though I never went to boarding school or, or um, dreams of like being locked away or going on vacation or being in some sort of cabin. Like, I don't have dreams of myself in my apartment. I always am like in this far off place that's like locked away and so again it's like bringing in that symbolism like that's why it rings so true. I think if it was just one dream it wouldn't have been that big of a deal but the fact is that it was years of these kinds of dreams and now it's all making sense and the second synchronicity that I wanted to bring up is that I was actually going to do this shadow work last night and I ended up just feeling tired and feeling anxious and just being like you know what I'm going to put myself first I'm just going to take the rest of the night off if I had done it yesterday I wouldn't have had all these epiphanies I wouldn't have watched this video on shadow work and had all these kind of beliefs that I unlocked. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you because that obviously was super powerful and also very unexpected. So I have a candle. Since I haven't lit it before, it doesn't really have a lot of energy associated with it. It's white, it's pure. So I wanted to use this candle as kind of my original source of fire. I have just kind of an empty glass bowl here. I didn't have any metal bowls, so this will work for me to kind of put the paper once it's on fire. And because it's kind of crazy fire laws out here, um, I have just kind of like some water with me just in case things get crazy. And then I just have my journal. This is actually a very special journal because I was able to Actually, I've actually been writing in this journal since like 2014 and I found some very old passages in it and then I kind of lost this journal for a while and I found it again and there are some blank pages towards the end so I figured this would be the perfect paper to write out kind of what I want to leave behind um, and then I have my tarot deck just in case I want to use that so and it is a gorgeous night these clouds are so beautiful So I didn't have an exact plan for everything that I wanted to write out, but that video on shadow work and all the journaling that I did earlier in the day really allowed me to get super specific on the things that I wanted to let go. So everything that I'm writing down is just certain habits or thought patterns or specific behaviors or just likelihoods to jump to certain conclusions. All of that is what I was writing down and I specifically wrote it down in a way that this was something I was set on letting go of. Um, so these are all things that I no longer want to claim or associate with and that was kind of my plan going into this. So I came out with about a page and a half. I just folded it up and lit my candle and just kind of set my intention of release during this process.
seeing everything light on fire and just get released was such a beautiful ritual, but the wind started blowing and sparks started flying, so... Okay, so as you just saw, it got super windy and there were embers flying everywhere, so I definitely didn't want to catch anything on fire, especially because it's fire season, so I just grabbed my water. Thankfully, I had it right next to me, just dumped that in, and so it kind of looks like this right now. Not the cutest, but no one's on fire and everyone's safe, so that's really my main priority. I guess that honestly calls it the end of this ceremony. It seemed so quick and so informal almost. Um, I kept feeling like it was going to be really intimidating or just really scary, um, but honestly it was easier than I thought. It made me feel freer and I felt like it was, you know, like when you think about shadow work or you think about all these parts of yourself that you don't want to deal with, like obviously it's scary, right? Like that's why we're avoiding them. That's why we push down these emotions and suppress them is because they are scary and we don't want to deal with them. And so I kind of was like, oh God, am I actually going to be able to handle this? There's always kind of that fear or like that idea of like, I don't know what I'm going to find. It did feel like a release. It did feel like I'm a little bit lighter. I think it was a little bit anticlimactic because I didn't completely see the paper burn up. So as much as a ceremony can help or be symbolic, it's really just one ceremony for one night. And what's more important is that you're actually learning these lessons and actually letting go of these things. So I guess to anyone else that maybe feels discouraged or doesn't really know what to do, you can not have a ceremony and make these choices and live a better and healthier life and make a complete 180 in how you act and how you see the world and you can also do one of these ceremonies but if you're not following it up and you're not acting in accordance to what you want to be and what you want to believe then you also are not getting anything out of it right so I think it really is what you put into it I think this is such a cool idea and I think it's something that I definitely will be doing again ideally if I can have like a larger fire pit or something that would be the best place to do this this might actually be a great activity for camping I'm just realizing my next step is how do I want to where do I want to go from here how do I want to move on from here and what can this really teach me in terms of like actionable steps and how can I really move forward from everything that I did so I think that's what I'm going to focus on journaling tomorrow but I think also like I mentioned earlier in this video we really can overdo it when it comes to healing and journaling prompts and it becomes like another version of procrasta learning with like I guess I could call it like procrasta spirituality I don't know but I don't want to get sucked into that and I've decided today what I want to let go and so tomorrow the 21st is about what do I want to manifest? What do I want to bring forward? What do I want to bring into my life? And who is the person that I want to ultimately be and become? But I wanted to just go ahead and end this video here. I'm just going to go inside, relax, probably make up some cozy tea, throw on like Halloween Town on the projector and um, really just hang out with my boyfriend and my dog for the rest of the night. Sounds like the perfect Sunday evening to me. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you try this exercise yourself or if you've done it before, what your experience with it has been. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this and to access my new one-on-one -on -one tarot and self-worth coaching package. The details will be in the description below. Happy healing.